coaching youth ball. We just had your beyond the box score. I love this stuff. Right. I went up to the lake with McCann this weekend. Saturday night, we're sitting there watching the big There's inning. so much to talk about. And there was so much to talk yep. about. There's teaching it. moments, right? Yes. And I'm a big believer in a lot of these guys. What I noticed at the WBC, we talked about it. You brought it up. Sure. Everything's done individual, right? I wanted to create, like, you should be working as a team yes. throughout the day, understanding where your guys are going and why and how. So there was multiple moments that I saw that I felt like were teaching moments for youth baseball. Base running is key. Defense, where to go with the baseball? Where's the pitcher supposed to be backing up bases? I want to start, and I'm not picking on anyone. Mm -hmm. These are teaching moments because I've, I've done them. But physical mistakes you can live with, mental mistakes, you get benched. I would get benched for some of these things or sent to Richmond by Bobby Cox. <laughs> this is for, I'm not kidding. This is Friday night. You're gone. Bases loaded. Pause this. I just want the bug will tell you everything. Bases loaded. 9-5. Dodgers are up. One out. Run it. Mookie Betts is in right field. Pause it. Does he throw well? Do you think <laughs> your third base coach is sending Mookie Betts in this situation? Right there. Um, the running runner on third? him? No. Everything says no. There's no on chance. On the bug, everything says no. But the distance that he's standing at, even if this was 0-0, zero, zero, says you, no. You're not sending him. No. So I'm, I'm Nathaniel Lowe, and I'm on second base. I have to be like, oh, okay, yeah, he's probably not sending him. Let me lock in on my third base coach and the third base runner. Run this. And I know people have moments, but this is this can't happen in a big league game. That can't happen. That can't happen. You, Boach, Boach doesn't know what to do with himself right there. Pause. I mean, where you? He's just head down chugging. <laughs> They're hanging out. This, We're getting this, out of this, this inning. This play was so um, relaxed by the Dodgers defensively because if I picked on anything, I'd say Freddie should be back here in a normal situation. If he thought there was going to be a throw at home plate and a play, no I'm one sure thinks, he got back. No one in the building thinks he's sending him. Okay. Run it. Yee. Oh, I feel you. I feel you right there. You're dead and you just – you're on a knee looking to dig Not up. Not a good feeling. Okay, we can live that. Watch the base runner in front of you. Saturday night. I see how you brought all that back to the one teaching moment. Watch pause, the in front of pause. You. Look at the score. Base is loaded, bottom five, five two. Who's on deck, a left-handed hitter? Who's on the mound, Framber Valdez? Run this. Sack fly, sack fly, pause. Is that deep enough to score to run easy? Yes. Is that deep enough for the guy on second to walk into third base? Yes. What can we not have happen? The guy at first base getting to second base. Because he would be the tying run, and I take away Framber's ability to roll a double play. Yes. Run this. Chaz, and you know we love you. That ball can't go to third. You just can't go to third and let the guy walk to second base in that situation right here. You're running out there. I think this is Pena. Freeze, please. Pause. All right, a couple things that jumped out at me there. Agree, agree, agree with everything you said. Were either one of these guys yelling? Two, that, two, two, that two. That kind of looks like a little point, but my yeah. point is, any throw by an outfielder towards a base from one hop is a proper throw. Might be a bad decision, proper throw. You need to be back here, one. If you're caught out there, you better have a bullhorn yelling, <laughs> second! Yeah. To, to understand that. But if you back up a little bit, you might be able to get in that situation where you could cut it and, and pick the guy two. back door. Watch this guy. He's not sure if he's tagging. He's just in situation. He's going to read it, read it, read it. Oh, my God, he's throwing a third. Go ahead. I'm the tying run. Mm. Over Jeremy Pena's head. Right. He ended up getting out of it. This was Saturday night. There was so much to unpack with Devin Williams. Get into this real quick. This is all, Pause. This is all thinking stuff. You go in contact play here. Michael Harris is on deck. I'm sitting there with Mac. Mac goes, we're going contact. I said, no, we're not. Is he on first or is he on third? He's on third. So that's backwards. He ends up on third. Okay. That's right. He steals, he steals, and steals. the two backs. Okay, go you ahead. You can run it. 
Sorry about that. Back people. to back, steal. Next pitch, steal. They bring infield in, obviously. And I'm saying, man, this is not a great matchup for Orlando Garcia. I'm probably not going contact play here. Because of where he is in the lineup and who's hitting next to him. And behind yes, him. Yes, who's Correct. hitting behind him is Michael Harris. Michael so this, Harris this ends is the whole walking. Right. Pause. And I look at Brian and I said, I'm walking the bases loaded. He said, you're out of your mind. You're going to put the winning run on second. I said, this, this is a terrible matchup for Devin Williams. And I got Ozzy Albies on deck, who cannot hit a changeup this year and was 0 for 10 coming in. You know what I, I like about this? Because this is all the things that the manager's thinking in the yeah. dugout that you either do or do not do. So it might not be the decision that you make. It's a decision it's you a don't make. It's a bold one. Go ahead. Run it. Pitched him carefully. Ronald knew it. He ends up walking him. <laughs> He look, knew he didn't. Look, he him. wants no part of me. And I'm going to bat flip right on top of home plate. <laughs> but, he, <laughs> but Robert, he gets the punch out from Ozzy Albies. So you got to. Oh. Brian Wilson taught me one thing in San Francisco. I'm willing to walk a guy that's a bad matchup for me to get to a guy that I know is an out in the lineup for my stuff. For your stuff. Even mm. with the beard and the whole skit, he pitched very smart. Okay, run this real quick. Talk about being in the right place at the right time. Anyone who watched Sunday Night Baseball last night. Hi. Mark Canna had a night defensively. Pete Alonso, great throw. Carrasco whiffs it. But look at Canna in the spot where he needs to be. Not defense and base running. Lock it in. He's not just laying out there against the green monster. No. Putting his back up against the wall. He moves. But you know what, D-Row? We've been talking about this. Defensively, you execute. People will give you outs on the base. Yes, they will. Because they will run until they get tagged out. And this is proof in point because he's out there if Carrasco catches it. And then he goes, okay, I'll tempt fate. I'll run again. And he's out there. 